Welcome back to another episode of Divinity 2. So, in today's sect of episodes, um, I Our honestly... NATO's going on, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there is that. Uh, but we're trying to see if we can go through and actually finish off the rest of these quests um, to get the level up that we need to be able to take on the doctor because based off of our first attempt with it I think we're going to need more than one level up yeah, um, we, we and to start combat off by breaking his chair apparently then he starts combat knocked out which is kind of a funny workaround yeah, a bit. I don't know if it's true or if it was changed or whatever but that's what I read so I'm very curious about that Oh god! Yeah. You have to run through a trap with gusto! <laughs> uh, somebody... Why? Is she still... Uh. But yeah, so what we're trying to do is go through, wash off these other little snippets, and see what we can manage to accomplish. What's this? I found something. Sir Laura almost killed himself. Okay, the fact that it's, there's a save there is mildly concerning. Let me go ahead and get it. Zap, move! No! I refuse! Yeah. Okay. Also, there's quite a few death fog crates. Wondering if we should, I don't know, save a few? They are, um, heavy. Yes, they are. But I think the Red Prince might be able to carry one or two and just leave it on the ship. Because I can't even pick one up. Like, apparently a hundred carry weight is just like, haha, yeah. Do you even lift, bro? Uh, and he can pick it up. How many can you pick up? One. Currently, because Maybe of all the other should, shit that I have him holding. You should probably, like, go bring it to the way shrine, drop it off, teleport back, and pick up, like, three. Because we could technically death fog, like, basically start the fight, figure out where I'm everybody is, like, where all the minions are. Death fog them, and, well, as soon as the fight starts, every single one of the minions is blocked. Where the fuck? That is no. Is Bill. I've not known. Have I yet? And plus, having a couple extras might not be a bad idea. Do what she says. Yes, of course, my queen. Okay, what is this? I'm watching you. One misstep, your highness. Bloom of Duna. Blank. Queen Justinia sucks in her cheeks, then offers you her unwavering hand. The queen retracts her hand and rewards your reverence with a curt nod. An audience is granted. I am yet too intrigued to give my leave. Now tell me. My queen! The human specimen. The queen wrinkles her face and gives his bed. Many have laid claim to Lucian's legacy, including his own inferior spawn. I presume our visitor has more than a vague title. He has escaped the island. A refugee from the joy. <laughs> Few avoid the magister's watchful. 
Can this god woken dictate? Isbel returns to her review of your adventure. The god woken arrogated the Lady Vengeance, the very vessel that terrorized the high seas under the hammer's command. The queen's eyes grow wide, and she nods appreciatively, then looks to Isbel to continue the ovations. It is good and right that you mourn the dead, god woken, but do not let your Many a good warrior has buried his courage along with the dead. Look ahead, not behind. I am consort to Her Royal Highness Justinian. Now, let us continue. The God Woken has slain his very own, Alexander. Indeed, slayed by your hand, then. The cub once pleaded with me to aid in his sorcerer pogrom. I cannot deplore your action. The Queen smiles her approval and looks to her advisor. Question. Now, but a bit premature, don't you think? We, at goodness, I've met street urchins with more manners. I think you'd have more respect. Well, I see no reason to mince words, God Woken. You're here yes, to that's die. a good reason why I'm saying. Malodorous it may be, but this is. Your Majesty, the God Woken is no ally but enemy. He would throw your plans in disarray. You have worked so hard. Should we Google this? Like, should we kill these guys? Because this is gonna force a fight. Um. Alright, now's not the time. Like, I was so carefully trying to pick um, my responses, and then it got to the point where I only had two left, and neither of the ones were the ones that I wanted to say. And then she's about to attack us. Unless I pass a persuasion check. You can try. <laughs> you need five. It's barely intrudes, but your majesty's brilliance has known no bad. Just in it. <laughs> but you're a clever one, aren't you, God? Isbeal? Shut your royal. And then another persuasion? Hold oh, up, wait for the queen's like response. The situation could resolve itself. Arrest Isbeal. She is no child of Duna. The guards unsheath their blades and point them not at Isbeal, but at. I'm afraid I have other intentions. Oh. Okay, what the balls is going on? Oh, what the. That just stunned the Red Prince. To the cold it's, gaze it's, of a thousand stones. And he doesn't and have. The hot uh, gaze of the dwarf Isbeal. Right hand of the queen. Oh, good. You are awake. Yeah, first, I figured I'd just kill you. Don't bother thanking me just yet, though. I dare say you'll be begging to die before long. How strong a dose can a god work in a hand or how long dark your lips open? I'd like to point out that spill forth. The red Prince just head. got slapped uh, uh, and stunned and shit through mm -hmm. oh, full shield, so and he doesn't have glass cannon. Oh, it's good to get this game is not rest. particularly consistent, <laughs> is can it? be darned pesky. What's that for? What are you trying to tell me? Are you hungry? Do you want to play? Did someone fall down or... Now, make yourself comfortable. So they're all undead. Should we heal them to death? Good. Um, ah, that dose proves quite alarming for my normal subject. Let's try a new approach, shall we? The attempt is futile. Every inch of your body is useless. Let's see now. <laughs> you struggle to move. And you feel your toes wiggle. Hmm, interesting. Now, let's move on to death fog. Live or die. His bell turns the rack, but no fog wafts forth. In that moment. What's wrong with it? I'm going to get out of this death trap. Okay. <sighs> this will be fun. We need shields. 
We can teleport out. You can. You cannot. Something down here, like teleport. Uh, is is the old down here? If you got. Let's keep my poison to the healer. Well, that's fine. Because there was a point, like there is multiple like types of ticks. I feel like uncanny evasion is fucking useless. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we should probably run away from the encounter and start it on our own fucking terms. What do you think? Good. Because I like starting shit on my own goddamn terms. These are also level 19s and I believe a 20. And we are currently level 19. Yeah. Isbeal or whatever the fuck her name is.
probably end up having to go down the hallway, like circle around. Because there's a uh, an exit over here. So I don't know if you can just open that door and it's actually break it. Where does this even lead to? Yeah, it leads to the sewer. There's a couple extra doors. Here's where the queen was. I don't know if we'll be able to go in that direction. We might. Cast uncanny evasion. Oh, on that guy. Jesus Christ! What the? Oh, there's my belt. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. If you forgot to poop, that's your own fault. Yeah, we had. It's like super, about. super angry outside right now. No. Yeah. Oh God, I can tell from my shirt. Come on. Fucking. Fuck. Okay, so it is veal or whatever does have a uh, movement skill. That's surprising. But one of the other melee guys is down there now. getting out of this is going to be extremely difficult. Because that door is locked. Boss, he's dead. I have four action points. We might just have to make a stand. Is that door not a door anymore? What the hell? I'm confused. What do you do to get through the door? Walk through it. Because it was glowing orange, and then it's not. I don't think the melee guys have movement skills. That guy just like practically murdered himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one too. Okay. Cool. So if I break combat, I might be able to teleport another one down there. I would have to break combat though. Yeah, good luck with that. It's actually not that difficult. I think I'm gonna try to revive Loss. Lose. What are the hell fucking name is? I can never goddamn remember. Lose. It was pronounced multiple different ways throughout this whole thing. Just 
just depended on what race said it, basically. The question is, can I get over here and revive her? Teleport all of the melee characters. Hold up. Is this one negative? Oh, okay. I'm standing next to a death fog barrel. Yep, and side note, these guys are undead. I know. And they're destroyed. Oh. That's even better. Oh my god, you just wasted- Wow, nice. Please don't have broken my barrel. I think you're fine. Okay, the barrel is 1 HP. That's why I'm a little concerned. Oh, blind it us. Drag me right off, no big deal. You can just use her to get blind off of herself. Does she have teleport? No. There's another melee, he's in with me. He's expecting to throwing his shield at me, did 1500 damage with one attack, and I didn't crit. Jesus. Alright, well, let me break combat again. Should be able to. But again, no, because that guy's probably too close now. Oh, 
Okay, so now there's only two that are not in the fire. And I don't think I want to send her into the fire now. Yeah. You think we can handle the two of them? Because, I mean, I mean, one of them has Phoenix Dive, and he wasted it by not getting out. Like an idiot. The other one probably has Phoenix Dive but hasn't used it yet. Oh, I do have Teleport on last... Let's well, say. You can teleport the last one in. But you have to take your next turn to do it. Because I don't think we're going to be able to travel far enough. I mean, you have three movement skills. <laughs> Damn, you have more movement skills than I do. It's kind of nice, right? Though, to be fair, you probably would have gotten much further with more action points if you would have teleported into the fire and you teleported across it. If you could have. I don't know if you could have. And this is the best I can do with her. Teleport right next to me? That's the best I can do. Nope. Oh, fuck off. Did he just teleport out of the fire? Yeah, it's me. Okay, so he probably doesn't have oh! a oh. So he probably doesn't have another teleport skill, at least not immediately. So whereas the um, the main boss chick most likely does because she had a couple turns. I'm gonna teleport that one, not the main boss chick. Also I'd like to point out I've used skin graph twice in this fight. Yay for breaking combat. I'm trying to keep everybody in the burning hole of death! They keep bouncing out. It's like trying to throw a bouncy ball into an empty trash can. They just keep bouncing out. <laughs> that guy is so dead. He's an idiot. The other, uh, the other one had a uh, phoenix dive or whatever it was called. That guy's just running around like an idiot. Like, yeah, let me just take this fire damage you kind of like, This is really good, okay? Whatever. This game kind of essentially makes you cheat. Yeah, just keep running around, guy. 
Oh, come on. Oh, the fire went up. Shit. Oh, well. I mean, we got a pretty decent amount of free damage. <laughs> oh, bye. Yeah, get rid of that, I said. Uh, I'm working on it. Bye bye now, and he ends his turn. Bye? <laughs> that hit really hard. hard. That hit as hard as my arrow. Okay, that's not gonna do shit for damage. Do they still cost uh, additional action points? Mm -hmm. Just costs two. Didn't someone say it costs one if you get your two or uh dual wielding up? So I don't know, they might I might be remembering it well. Because that would be okay. Alright, so we've made progress. <laughs> Definitive progress. I like that. And these guys are still retarded, which is good. Very good. I love retarded AI. they want to teleport out. Doesn't matter, because they're all about to die. Should we focus on Queen Bitch first? I feel like we should focus on Queen Bitch first. I mean, you can. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can deal with her, I'll deal with everything else. I feel like I need some backup for this one, though. Well, that's what Lose is for. Can I hit her from here? No, I can't. Oh, God. This I'm not liking the situation. Can you teleport? No. Everything is on cooldown. Except for, like, my actual attacks and chloroform. Ahem. <clears throat>
think if I end my turn here, she might have to waste at least one action point to get closer to me. Probably. And I still have my death proc plus an auto revive. And then y'all will be safer. Yeah, I'm just gonna use myself as bait. Let's hope she takes it. Pretty sure she took it. Oh, she took it right. Oh, she had her turn. I'm okay with this. Who needs resistances anyway? figure out how to get out of the trap. Which, to be honest, I don't think they're going to figure it out. Because you have to walk away from us to be able to teleport out. I don't think they're programmed that intelligently. And oh, the high ground bonuses that you were going to get when murdering those guys. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Just make sure you don't teleport to the other side. If you Stay on the side and turn it down. I feel like teleporting all these guys in the hole kind of made this a little bit easier than it should be. What do you think? It helped. I feel like it helped considerably. I actually think that if we wouldn't have done that, we probably would have wiped. I mean, that's three things that couldn't do shit. I'm gonna hit for thousands, which I'm not particularly aware of. Not that taken care of. Where were we? Bitch, you were lying flat on your back. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Anybody have a teleport? Yep. Perfect. Because I don't. I have to wait one more turn. Yeah, I have to wait one more wait. I'm gonna teleport. Yeah, I have to wait one more turn. Oh come on, your legs are in my line of sight. How are you too far? Fuck you, game. in this perfect little smoke cloud. Fucking smoke cloud. Oh. Whatever. I mean, it's just one extra thing. You guys are probably going to drop. Or the main boss or whatever is probably going to drop. Soon. I like how chloroform scales with the mess. Though I still feel like it's super date raping. Enjoy the high ground bonus. Oh! I'm okay with this. You're welcome. I don't think I was on the Oh, and yet. that bitch? 
I can also go back down there. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I did that? <laughs> well, that's a workaround. I like the way you think. Oh, come on. One more tick, you would have died. It's fine. It's funny, it took what? Like 60 hours for this game to actually get fun? I still want to play through it again, like immediately after this, and just see if like the reason it was so hard in the beginning was because of lack of knowledge, or if we just sucked and now we know what we're doing, or if it is just ball cruel, crushingly difficult, cruel and unusually hard, <laughs> at least in the beginning. I do feel like they should have been a little more. Hey Zan, you want to teleport that other ass hat down there? Can you?
Hey, Zeph, let's do something fun. Yes. I'm gonna use two source skills in one turn. Yes. Oh, I didn't need to. You put your foot in your mouth a little bit there, buddy. <laughs> oh no, Sora Laura died. You should follow your. Uh, did he walk into the death fog? Um, he may have, actually. I bet he fucking walked into the death. Wait. Half of him was undead? Wait. I mean, technically half of him was undead, but you could heal him normally. I don't know, this game is so inconsistent, I don't even know. I, I give up trying to know. bow that requires five lore master, unidentified boots that require five lore master, a poison cloud grenade, Isabel's research journal, an intricate key, Isabel's key, an unidentified ring that requires five lore master, another swap skill book, and a source orb. What is the um, quality of said bow? I faced the great the master's purpose is his own to speak. Not yeah, no. good with words. So oh, it's uh, purple? I believed yeah. you. Wait, which color purple? Pinkish purple or purple purple? Pinkish. Oh, okay, I'll so legendary quality. The spirit pauses, then not. The god king feeds on war, on death, on the death fog. His bale's voice rises. I lived for that day, god woken. The spirit's eyes and mouth narrow. In her silence, the noise of splashing sewer water bounces from the stony. You have lit Isbell's fire. She is a bomb. A you couldn't know. Oh, we finally lost you Sir Laura. In death, I was. I was given a chance. I made a decision. One that I have never. It is time then. Done. You already looted everything down there? Yep. Alright. Nope, it is this one. Yes. Another swap. Poison cloud grenade goes from here. Also, keep in mind, I still have that locked chest in my inventory. The one that I'm pretty sure we couldn't unlock with the lockpick. Even with, like, you know, all of the lockpicking still. Okay, the boots are plus two to wits, plus one to sneaking, plus two to initiative, plus 0.5 to movement. Um. Those are basically the same boots I have, but they give a lot more armor. But they give less health. Oh, it doesn't have socket. It's no, still it higher damage Whoa. regardless, but it doesn't have crit chance. God, God game, why you don't dude, crit chance, it is bro? so much more damage, though. What the hell? Well, that's because it's a level 20 bow, which also means I would lose uh, accuracy. Which is bad. Really bad. Let's see, let me see what Lossy's damage does. It goes from 309 to 383 to 447 to 545. It's just she loses 13% crit chance, going from 70 to 57. She also loses accuracy. I she mean, does. It might be worth it. I, I don't know. know. I'm going to hold on to it. Also, I just want to point out you have two stacks of gold. Yes. The game doesn't go into six digits. And let's see, that is not a bad ring. Plus two constitution, plus one warfare, plus one scoundrel, plus one summoning. Oh, you can use it on, uh, what's his name? Red Prince. Can I? I don't know. I 
I cannot. Let's see. I mean, I guess no, I could. I, cannot. I could use those boots, maybe. I mean, they're better armor, but they're lower health. Because I have 90 HP on them. Everything else is identical. It's basically the difference is 90 HP to two initiative, and then much higher armor. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's useful. Very. Considering death fog is real. Wave the pain you inflict. The spirit laughs his laugh, and then he is gone. All right. Go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and save. And we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I like the fact that we're actually progressing in other quests, though, because that is the one concern that I have. Um, let's see, what level are we right now, actually? Okay, we are level 19, okay. Because I would like to at least get to level 20 uh, before progressing in the other areas. Um, though, whenever it comes to the fight with the Doctor, I'm hoping that being level 20 will kind of give us the little bit of an edge that we need to be able to overcome him, because it is definitely a difficult encounter. In the earlier episodes, we noticed that we didn't snuff out the candles, but that's because we're trying to get the most experience as possible, though it might not really be necessary. Because, I mean, once you get to level 20, I mean, is there really any more of the game that you can go through to make use of that extra experience? I don't know. I guess we will find out, but regardless, we will see you in the next episode.